Reverend John Lee Venga Yill was born on October 11, 1976, to proud parents K.J. John and Leela Majan in a village called Chintalar, which is in the area of Kerala, India. John Lee's grandfather, Joseph Venga Yill, was also a minister who in the early 1950s was a pioneering pastor who was greatly used by God to win many people for the kingdom of God. John Lee's father, Pastor K.J. John, was known by many to be a man of prayer. Soon after John Lee's birth, he was diagnosed with childhood asthma. This caused his parents to pray fervently for him. He began to recover slowly, but by the time he was four years old, there was an incident where the doctors denied him a stay in the hospital and advised his parents to prepare for the worst. The doctors believed that he would die within four days. But his parents believed in God, so much so that they refused to believe the report of the doctors. They never wavered in their faith, but took their son home and began to fast and pray before the Lord for their son's deliverance and healing. They believed that the Lord wanted them to fast and pray for five days. But miraculously, on the third day, John Lee had been completely healed by the Lord. The next days were filled with praise and thanksgiving unto God Almighty and culminated in their dedicating their son John Lee and his life to the Lord. John Lee Vengayil came to know Christ as his Savior on December 31, 1989. When he was 16 years old, he felt God's call to missions in North India. Even though he did not know anyone there, he responded to that call. He studied at Grace Bible College and then worked with Campus Crusade of India, training 100 Jesus film and church planting workers. He also studied with Crusades International Leadership Academies. In 2001, he felt God's call to begin church planting and started with only three people. Since then, the Lord has led John Lee to personally plant three churches, establish an orphanage, Establish Rehoboth Bible Training Center and equip and encourage others to establish 48 churches in seven different states of India. Annie came to faith from a Hindu family when she was 14 years old. Shortly after that, she had a strong desire to serve the Lord. She and her mother prayed about this, and the Lord brought John Lee into her life. They married on January 15, 2001, and she came to North India to join John Lee in ministry there. She is a faithful wife and mother to their son, Godwin. The Lord God Almighty gave us a special vision to start Rehoboth Bible Church in 2001. Out of that vision, the Master's Plan Social Development Organization and Rehoboth Bible Church were born. We named the church Rehoboth because the Lord has given us room and we will flourish in the land. Soon after, we began the challenge of taking the gospel of Jesus Christ to the urban and rural areas of India. The Spirit of the Lord has our hearts pricked with the compassion of Christ. Therefore, we labor in love to carry the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ to remote villages and mountain regions where many people are suffering in abject poverty and horrific conditions. We are equipped 
and empowered by the Word of God and the Holy Spirit to go ye into the uttermost parts of India. We are seeing many saved, set free, baptized, and delivered in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. All praise and glory be given to the Father, which art in heaven. Our mission is to reach the lost and hurting people of India, in spite of tribe or caste, with the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ our Lord. This is being done through evangelism and community development projects in areas of India where there is no access to television or radio. We'd like to take this opportunity to encourage you to join us in prayers and fasting, as well as giving to the kingdom work that God has laid upon us, that together we may praise the Lord as we witness the great reviving hand of God sweep over India for his glory. Rehoboth Bible Church is mainly working in rural areas of India where no one else wants to reach out. But it also works among the cities and mostly among the poor and needy people groups. Reverend John Lee wants to see a church in every single village. Rehoboth Bible Church's mission is also to help to educate poor children who are not able to go to school as well as provide vocational training such as tailoring, so that families will have some personal income. At any cost, we want to see God's kingdom established and the life of the people be transformed by the light of the Word of God and the hope of glory of Christ Jesus, which is in them. Bishop John Lee personally visits many rural villages of India where there is a need of the gospel. The church also meets the needs of these people by providing clean water through the Rehoboth Well Project and providing clothes and other gifts for those in need. This new building will be the new home for Pastor Shibu, his wife, and their two boys. No longer will they have to struggle each month to come up with the rent for their small three-room apartment without a bathroom and running water. In Pastor Shibu's current home, they share an outhouse with several neighbors. The outhouse has dirt floors, a hole in the ground, and an old wooden chair used to sit while giving yourself a sponge bath from a pot of hot water that was pumped from the community pump at the end of the road and then heated with a hot plate. This new building will be a safe place in the state of Andhra Pradesh, located in southern India, torrential rain and typhoons occur in the winter and spring, followed by summer temperatures that average over 120 degrees. The construction schedule of the church was even delayed because of the modified and shortened work schedules needed to avoid these unbearable conditions in June and July. In fact, nearly 1,700 people have died in Andhra Pradesh alone this past summer in heat-related incidents. This new church will be a community respite from these horrible conditions and a place where people can come in for food, water, and shelter. Thank you, Community Church. Your faithfulness and generosity is changing the world. We pray that the Lord will help us with $10,000 to finish the project. Thank you. Greetings to you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The Lord has been very gracious and He was keeping us ongoing our ministry through different parts of India. Now we have a man of God, Dr. Thomas Enai from USA. We have been partnering with our ministry for, since from 2002 onward and now I just invite him to speak a few words about our ministry. Thank you. It's a, a real privilege to speak on behalf of uh, the ministry that John Lee has been doing through his Rehoboth Bible Institutes. And it's been my privilege now to teach in three of those institutes, in Delhi, in Jammu, and now here with uh, Pastor Shibu. What's the name of your 
village. Not Papa Tonto. Okay, that's where we are. <laughs> I, I just can't get it out of my mouth. I'm sorry. But uh, it is a privilege. I can say Andhra Pradesh. Yes. Yes. And, and it's a real privilege to be here with you and to just let you know that you're part of a bigger organization than just this one school. Uh, God is doing some amazing things, and I'd just like to let you know that when I taught in Delhi, I taught a course on preaching, and it was interesting to see how both men and women learned from this, how to handle the Word of God, and it kind of revolutionized the preaching and teaching ministry of several of those students, and it helped equip all of them to be more effective in planting churches and in serving the existing churches that they came from. So I was really very excited to be a part of that. Then last year, I had the privilege of going to Jammu and starting a, a session of teaching there with some people who were going to become house church leaders in their villages. And what really intrigued me about this program was that all of the students had come from the villages and they were being trained to go back into their villages start cell group ministry, start a Bible study there that would eventually become a church in that village. None of those villages had a church, a gospel preaching church. And uh, it's just exciting to know that this ministry is preparing people like this to go into the villages and to reach out to people who've never heard about Jesus and bring them to faith and help them grow in the Lord Jesus. Now, I get to be here with you and help you learn about biblical counseling. And it's just been a real privilege to see how many of you have caught the vision for counseling and what difference that can make. I really appreciate all three of you who shared, because I know that you're expressing the feelings of others, and that you have learned that this counseling program really equips you not just to counsel people, but to understand people and be better able to witness to them, to be better, better able to become friends with them, and reach out to them, even across religious borders, because you're reaching out to people who are no longer uh, a part of your religion, because you are believers in Jesus, and they are Hindus and Sikhs. So, it's just exciting to know that you can have them, uh, that you are going to reach out to many of these people. And it was a special thrill to me to be a part of the ministry of the village and the street last night. Just to see how you're already working and how people are responding to you. Not just the guys who she did, or John, or me, but to me, I saw how you were interacting with the people of the areas where we were busy. And I know that God is going to use you in some amazing ways. And I challenge you to just keep on serving the Lord, keep on reaching out to those villages. And now, brother, you can do it more effectively than ever before because you've learned some, some tools that will help you to be able to make a huge difference in the lives of people. And I'm excited to count you as my brothers and sisters in Christ and as my fellow workers in God's harvest field. So I uh, just am delighted to, to know you and get to spend some time with you and to help have a little bit of input in your training to make you more effective for serving Jesus. Thank you. God bless you. Twenty fifteen was a momentous year for Bishop John Lee. First, he was elected as a president of the Evangelistic Association Good News for North India. Then, on the 16th of December, he was elected as coordinator for the Greater Delhi Pastors Fellowship. On the 17th, he was honored along with a select few faithful men of God by the Constitution Club of India and on December 19th, he was elected as a patron for the National United Christian Front. 
Please pray for strength for Bishop John Lee and his family as he takes on these additional responsibilities. Thank you very much for watching and God bless you.